Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NASCAR Cup Series, Hollywood Casino 400, the second race of the 2022 playoffs, the 34th race at Kansas, 400 miles, 267 laps, three stages, 80, 85, and 102. Ooh, boy, um, it's going to be a fun race. Uh, we seen what happened at Darlington last week. We had a non championship or non-playoff driver win so nobody got those playoff points it actually just up kind of upturned the playoffs a little bit i know there's been a lot of talk this week on owner championship so we're going to kind of talk about that as well uh, but yeah it's going to be it's going to be a fun race um toyota's won five of the last ten at kansas ford won three <laughs> chevrolet won two of those ten the last three fall races have been won by been won by each manufacturer. Back in the spring, we had Kyle Busch, or Kurt Busch, excuse me, win the race, followed by Kyle Larson. Um, Kyle Busch won stage one and finished third. Kurt won stage two. Danny Ham won fourth. So we had three Toyotas in the top four, four Toyotas in credit Christopher Bell, and then Martin Truex Jr. was six. So we had five Toyotas in the top six. Followed by Ross Chastain, Ricky Stenhouse, Alex Boma, and Bubba Wallace. So all six Toyotas in the top ten. Toyota hasn't had speed this year. Um, they're starting to get better, but la but in, back in Kansas they did. Cautions 8 for 47, 18 lead changes. Kurt Busch ran a, a race high, 116 laps. Christopher Bell, 37. Kyle Larson, 29. William Myron, 25. Tyler Reddick, 24. And Kyle Busch, 18. As we've raced at Gaines over the years, especially in the playoffs, we know things happen. Fireworks can happen. All right, so in the mile and a half tracks this year, Vegas, Darlington, Nashville, Darlington, Kansas, Charlotte, and Gateway. Christopher Bell's average 6.8 average finish. Joe Lagona, 9.4 with two wins. Kyle Larson, 11.0. Tyler Rake, 11.7. Ross Chastain, 12.5, Eric Amaral 13.2, Kyle Busch 13.5, Denny Hamlin 14.2 and a win, Austin Dillon 14.4, Michael McDowell 14.5. Now, because this is a mile and a half, we only have three true 1.5 mile and a half tracks on the circuit. All these other intermediate Darlington's 1.3, we got a 1.2 in Gateway, 1.3 in in uh, Nashville, um, Vegas, Kansas, Charlotte are the true and tried mile and a half, along with Texas. So, Kyle Busch, in those three races, the mile and a half, 3.0 average finish. Kyle Larson, 4.3. Alex, or Christopher Bell, 6.6. .6. Alex Bowman, 6.6 .6 and a win. Ross Chastain, 8.3. Martin Truex Jr., 8.6. Kevin Harvick, 10.0. Denny Hamlin, 12.3 and a win. Tyler Reddick, 14.3. Austin Dillon, 15.3. In the last seven races that just Kansas, Kevin Harvick, 6.9. Denny Hamlin, 7.7 .7 with two wins. Mark Truex Jr., 8.0. Chase Elliott, 8.6. Brad Kalsowski, 8.6 and a win. Kyle Larson, 8.8 .8 and a win. Alex Bowman, 8.9. William Byron, 10.6. So with Eric Jones in the 43 winning Darlington, nobody's guaranteed on the next round at this point. So we have everyone racing for the two wins that are left. What I want to see this year is I want to see three, so what, we have six, 17 winners already, three more different winners. I want the whole season to get to 20 different winners. I want to see every playoff race won by a different driver. I don't want to see a repeat winner in the playoffs. I just think that would be real fascinating because you, you figure Ryan Blaney can get a win, Martin Truex Jr. can get a win, maybe um, Bubba Wallace, that would get us to our 20 regular season winners. No no two-time winner in the playoffs. So that's, that's my hope at least. No two-time winner in the playoffs and have 10 different winners in the playoffs. 20 different winners for the regular season. I think that would be really freaking cool. All right, as we look at playoffs right now, Joe Logano, plus 38. Remember, he started with 25 bonus points. William Byron, plus 32. He started with 15 bonus points. Danny Hamlin, plus 30. He started with 13 bonus points. 
Christopher Bell, plus 28, started with 11 bonus points. Tyler Reddick is plus 23, started with 12 bonus points. Ryan Blaney, plus 20, started with 13 bonus points. Kyle Larson, plus 17 to the cut line. He started with 19 bonus points. Ross Chastain, plus 15, started with 20 bonus points. Here's the big kicker, Chase Elliott. Plus 14, started with 40 bonus points. Basically, his bonus points for winning the regular season championship is pretty much what he's got, 14, to the cut line. So he basically, his, this is my whammy, was Darlington. Alex Bowman, plus 10, 6 bonus points to start the season. Kyle Busch, plus 8, has 11 bonus points. Daniel Suarez, plus 2, has 7 bonus points. Outside, looking in right now, Austin Cindric, minus 2. Austin Dillon, minus 4. Chase Briscoe, minus 10. Kevin Harvick, minus 13. He started the playoffs with 12 bonus points. Now, when they entered the playoffs, Logano was plus 18 to the cut line. He's gained. Byron plus 7, Denny Hamlin plus 6, Christopher Bell plus 4, Tyler Reddick plus 5, Blaney plus 6, uh, Larson plus 12, Chastain plus 13, he stay maintained, Chase Elliott was plus 33. So yeah, Chase took a huge, huge hit there. Uh, Alex Bowman was minus 3, nice, plus 10. Suarez was minus two, nice plus two. Cynric was minus three, he's only minus two. Dylan's still minus four. Harvick was plus five, now he's minus 13. So yeah, these two races, <laughs> Kansas and Bristol. <laughs> I think if Chastain has the bad Kansas race, Bristol's going to suck for him. But I think... A few of those Toyotas, I think they want to lock themselves in before they start doing stupid shit. So we'll see what happens. Owner points. I know there's been a lot of talk of this. Um, 45 car. Started with Kyle, with Kurt Busch, Ty Dillon, and now with Bubba Wallace. People don't understand. So, normally, in a cup, in a cup series, you have driver points, owner points. You have both. They typically line up because typically the top 16 drivers stay in those cars for the playoffs as well. So this year you win, you're in. Kyle Bush, Kurt Busch won in the 45. So the 45 now in the other points, it's like driver wins, they're automatically in. If the car wins, they're automatically in. But because Kurt's out hurt, somebody else has to drive 45. They put Bubba Wallace in that. They gave him a little chance to kind of run for some playoff points. Hey, he's top 10 at uh, Darlington. In the last 14 races, he's got five top 10s. So right now, the 45 is, is 10th place in 100 points, plus 29. So can he win a, a owner championship? I don't know. Can he make up 29 points on Joey Logano? We'll see. The owner points are different than driver points, so we'll see what the other, how the owner points work out. Um, I think it'd be very fascinating. If I have to go, the weirdest thing that could happen, I want to see Ryan Blaney win the regular season, win the championship with no wins. I want to see Bevel Wallace win the owner, the owner's championship. <laughs> but that not just blow everybody off. Oh my god, a non race winning champion and Bubba Wallace in the 45 won the owner's championship and, and the 45 is not even the driver's championship race oh, oh I really want that to happen now but anyway we'll see what happens and that, yes yes, that is possible you don't have to win Phoenix to win the championship for instance if Chase Briscoe he won Phoenix in the spring if he wins Phoenix and he's not in the final four, the championship would go to the highest finishing of those four. So, but all right, that is the Hollywood Casino 400. We've got it all broke down. The four winners of my picks, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Bubba Wallace. Yeah, folks. 45 won in the spring. Bubba was 10th. 
Toyotas have speed at Kansas. Um, yeah, I'm, go I'm going. Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, Bubba Wallace, Danny Hamlin's three Toyotas. We'll see what happens. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports content.